Hello guys, I am Muhammad Muhammad, the founder of MMP Studios. And right now, I'm going to be explaining to you guys what these graphical symbols means and how they work. Uh, first of all, these graphical symbols are called waypoints. These waypoints determine how your animation is going to change in the parameter you choose. Uh, let me show you practically so that you can understand more. Uh, first of all, I'm going to turn on the animation and uh, I'm going to place this time ruler at 24 frames. Now I'm going to choose, as you can see, I've already designed five different cycles and I'm na I've named them according to this very waypoint you've seen. And uh, I'm going to choose the waypoint and animate it in respect to the type of cycle I've named. So first of all, I want to start with the clamped animation. And I'm gonna select this cycle. Yeah, let me make sure. Yeah, my time ruler is at 24 frames. I'm gonna move this cycle to the right side of the screen. And if you can see, this graphical symbol is showing. And I'm gonna go to 48 frames. And I'm just gonna simply uh, duplicate by holding right click and duplicate so that it goes back to the left side of the screen. And uh, I'm going to go back to 24 frames and I'm going to choose this TCB and I'm going to change the waypoint to TCB and move the cycle to the right side of the screen. And uh, take my ruler to the 48 frame, select the waypoint at zero frames, hold right click and duplicate it back so that it goes back to the left side of the screen. Uh, I'm gonna select this constant and choose the constant waypoint. Take my ruler to 24 frames, move the cycle to the right side of the screen. As you can see, it creates a constant type of waypoint. Uh, this, uh, I'm gonna move my time ruler to 48 frames, select the first waypoint at zero frames, right click and duplicate it. I'm gonna select is in and out and I'm gonna select is in and out waypoint. Uh, take my time ruler to 24 frames, move the cycle to the right side of the screen, go to 48 frames and duplicate the first keyframe so that it appears back to the left side So I'm going to select this linear also, change my waypoint to linear, uh, go to 24 frames and move this yellow cycle to the right side of the screen and take my time ruler to 48 frames, select the first waypoint it shows at zero frames, right click on it and duplicate it so that it goes back to the left side of the screen at 48 frames. To explain how it works, uh, let's shut off the animation and uh, click on preview. Uh, my quality, yeah, and 48 frames, nice. Um, all right, so I'm going to play this through, and I'm go we're going to start by the clamp animation. I'm going to explain to you how it flows, the manner it flows uh, in changing from the first parameter to the second parameter, that is the left to the right side of the screen and back to the left side of the screen. All right, now I'm gonna play it. Um, I'm gonna join these two waypoints you see, that is the orange cycle and the green cycle, that is the clamped and the TCB. So I'm gonna explain how it goes. As you can see, they just flow straight and it doesn't like slows down or goes fast in any way and that is the clamped and the TCB these two cycles you can see they go from the left to the right straight like no slowing down it doesn't slow down it just goes and come back um, and this red cycle if you observe that is the constant I, I emitted it using the constant waypoint you know so it starts off from uh, the left side and it just pops up to the right side of the screen without flowing like it doesn't goes in motion it just pops up and pops out 
that is how the clamp keyframe uh, that is how the clamped waypoint works um, so i'm gonna explain this blue if you observe closely this blue that is the is in and is out waypoint I had, that's what i used to animate it if you observe it starts off slow and in, uh, when it comes to the middle it goes fast and it ends up very slow just observe slow fast slow fast and this yellow that is i animated it using the linear waypoint as you can see it starts off very fast and in the middle it goes slow and it at the end it goes very fast and if you notice all these waypoints appear at the right side of the screen at the same time even though uh, the linear starts off slow and in the middle it goes fast and at the end it goes slow uh, it's just how it's timed how it flows like yeah so the ease in and ease out also despite the fact that it starts off slow but the speed it goes in the middle and uh, we're close to the end it goes fast that's how it compensates uh, the timing and also the linear and the and the, okay sorry the cloud the constant also just pops up and pops out back to the side of screen as you can see and this two waypoints are the clamp and the tcb you can see it goes straight it doesn't go fast or go slow in any way it just goes straight uh, so this is what i can explain to you about the different waypoints uh, but i'm going to show you some few things again for example let's start with the clamp as you can see the clamp has uh, you can see it's more of like a diamond shape so with this diamond shape i can select this for example it has an in and it has an out for example if i right click i can change the in to constant as you can see the sign has changed to a half constant and when it goes from zero frames as you can see it doesn't goes you can observe this uh, it doesn't goes as it used to because i've changed the in the out of it as a clamp uh, as a constant so at zero uh, at 24 frames it just pops out just like the way constant uh, waypoint works so this in again it is a it is a uh, clamped animation so it is going to go the way it usually does uh, and for example let me select this uh, constant that is the red cycle let me for example um, if I decide to like select this and change it to both instead of changing the in or the out to linear I can change it to both of them to be clamped so just observe how the animation works although constant affects it in different ways so that's why it it just pops out but if we are to change this in also to maybe not both but the out of it to clamped it will definitely go in that linear motion and from that for it to go to this last keyframe you just have to go because it is in constant you just have to pop out to that place uh, let's select the ease in ease out uh, like i explained to you this waypoint that is the ease in ease out starts off slow and in the middle it goes fast and at the end close to the end it goes slow again uh, if i change it to you can change the in to linear and uh, the animation would also change the type of way it goes it starts off slow but it just from the middle it goes fast all the way instead of the way it does when it is uh, both is in is out i hope i enlighten you a little about uh, how the waypoints work you can be creative there's a lot of different types of animation and different combinations you can use to get the type of animation you want i hope this video helps and if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section don't forget to like the video subscribe because i'm going to be uploading more videos Thank you very much till we meet again.